First off, I'm John Hughes. I'm not a web guy, and that's the whole process behind this, that I'm not a web guy. Uh, I started my journey about two years ago with WordPress, and this is, I'm glad there's a lot of new people here because I've sat in your shoes not too long ago, and I came to these meetings thinking I was going to learn something. I did, but I didn't realize I did. So I want to first talk about who I am so you can understand that WordPress affects a lot of different walks of life. I'm a family man first. That's number one priority. My son doesn't live with me. When he shows up, I drop everything and we'd go do what we got to do. I'm a coach. I'm a coach to ordinary people just like yourself. I also coach high level, high skill level golfers. Um, I've taught some PGA Tour professionals and LPGA Tour professionals in the past, and I love doing that. I serve as Vice President of the North Florida PGA. There's 1,600 members between Jacksonville, Melbourne, over to Ponta Gerda, and up to Tallahassee. And it requires about 40 hours of work a month, whether it's traveling, telephone calls, conference calls, emails. It's, it's a big job, bigger than I thought it'd be, but it's a lot of fun. I get to hang out with a lot of cool people. This is Davis Love. If any of you are golfers, this week's the Ryder Cup. He's our captain. And I get to hang out with a lot of cool golf people as well as dignitaries, political figures, Hollywood people, because just golf attracts those kinds of people. And I'm an award winner. Uh, the PJ has their own Oscars, and I won the equivalent of the best supporting actor back in 2013 for the educational things that I do to educate PGA professionals, people like yourself. It, it expands beyond just the golf world. But again, I emphasize I'm not a web guy, especially before December 2013, which I'll get to. This is my office. It's, it's not like in here. It's not under any kind of lighting. I'm outdoors all the time with no Wi-Fi, no electric. Uh, the closest bathroom is about 250 yards away, and I'm out there from January through May, seven days a week on average, nine hours a day. So it's tough to, to schedule things when it comes to WordPress and my website. But again, I emphasize that, well, let me get started here. In 2010 is when I first found WordPress. I was working for a golf school with eight locations around the country. I was the director of instruction for the school as well as national operations manager. We had a lot of landing sites that we needed content for, so the gentleman who owns the school said, why don't you start writing articles? And I did, and I put them on Word, and our webmaster would come back and say, I need you to do it in WordPad. Too much coding, too much coding. It won't work for WordPress. WordPress, what's that? I had a little small website prior to that on the equivalent of a Wix or a Weebly, I said, hey, let's try it. And that was my first venture into it. This was, I pulled this off of archive.org this morning, February 8th of 2010. But in December of 2013, the war, everything changed. I lost my job. Earlier that year, my boss told me, get that website off the, off the internet. It's confusing too many people. I had very few clients because all my efforts were to go towards that golf school and not necessarily towards me. I'd know where to coach because I had no more affiliation with a facility. And bottom line is I had no cash. So the mother of my invention, the mother, the necessity that really fueled me was WordPress. I had nowhere else to turn. I had to get something up and quick. So from December, say around 2nd, until about January 10th, and I've got the date in my calendar, which is why I can say it, I put together just a raw johnhughesgolf.com website, found a free theme that allowed for sliders to go through. You can see here, I wasn't really branding myself well. My logo, although I designed it, was hidden. It wasn't well seen. I was putting more emphasis on the menu and what I had to offer. It was my first foray into it. And through that foray, I came up short a lot. So what do I mean by coming up short? This is a little video of a platform that I use for golf. And this is about 400 shots that are plotted by the platform I use of approach shots. What I mean by approach shots is you hit the tee shot and then your next shot to the green. The real key number here is 22% short. In golf, on average, about 80% of the time we come up short. People don't, just don't hit it far enough. 
and I wasn't hitting it far enough with my first foray into making John Hughes golf. A lot of that had to do with I was getting no phone calls, no emails. Um, I was failing to produce timely content that attracted people. It was, it was all my fault. And all these things here were my fault. I was freaking out. Because again, at the end of the day, I was making no money and my page on average ranked on the seventh page or worse. And I had zero dollars to market myself. I had to get better at what I was doing. So I had to think about some things first. There's an adage in golf about keeping par in play. And what it basically is, is take an inventory of your skills, your abilities, your capabilities that you currently have and apply it to the golf course as you go around. If you're on a par five and you can't hit it far enough, maybe it's not a par five for you. Maybe it's a par six. And I had to really eat some ego up, put it aside and think about that and apply it to how I was going to go about putting my WordPress site together. And I just basically took this definition of what it means in golf and applied it to WordPress. It's about making decisions based on what you're capable of doing. WordPress is just so invaluable that way and so flexible, you don't have to be a rocket science to make it work. But you do have to be diligent and you do have to know what you're capable of and you do have to know, hey, if I break it, I can fix it. And that was my biggest fear was breaking it. I was, I was really worried about that. So as I, I thought about how am I gonna keep par in play, I had to align myself when I teach somebody, here's, here's something to think about. The red stick on the bottom is where this gentleman's trying to hit a shot. And the yellow stick represents his parallel left, is the term we use, alignment to his target. And this is sort of symptomatic of how you should be aligning yourself with resources, whether it's people, money, places, whatever it is. If you're not running parallel, with that person or your resources, you're going to intersect. And those intersections are typically disastrous. In golf, basically, this is a real stat. One of my partners is FlightScope. It's a dual Doppler radar system. For the past 10 years, they've been charting multiple millions of shots. And what they found out, just 2% aimed in the wrong direction has you miss your 150-yard target by as much as 75 feet or more. How did that apply to me for WordPress? Very simple. I'm a do-it-yourselfer and I had lots of targets and I had to come up with a priority order. I was able to find my priority order in some notes that I kept. I'm a diligent note taker. And this was how I prioritized it. It was the site first, then the hosting. It's actually flip-flop. It was themes. It was plugins. Oh yeah, I gotta make sure no one hacks into it. Security. Well, I learned some lessons the hard way but bottom line was I had to really devote my time better. I had to be a better time manager to get all this done. So I aligned myself with this group, thanks to David and a lot of other people. January 11th, we met at, what's the name of the library on Colonial? Hernan Branch. Branch. And I walked in there and I was totally lost. And then I'm listening to people and they're talking Swahili. It's going over my head. I can't figure out what in the world's going on. And just like a lot of you here today, I talked to a couple of you before everybody showed up. You were here because, hey, I want to learn something. I actually want to apply something. Ah, wrong. I was totally wrong. So I had to figure out another plan. So I'm a talker. I'm a coach. I talk to people all the time. So I started talking. And I started networking. And I found this guy. Gene, Gene, out of the kindness of his heart, I don't know why, he's never told me why, nor will I ask him, said, you know what, John, for 20 bucks an hour and all the coffee I can drink, I'll help you out. But you got to break it. I want to fix it, and I want to teach you how to fix it. And I'm forever in Gene's debt because of that. Because if it wasn't for him, I would not have been able to literally less than 30 days later, put a website up that was actually a lot more effective. I had to come up with a short game to that. Short game, when you teach golf, you teach it from the hole outward. And those shorter shots are the more important ones. Those are the ones that score. And for me, scoring meant making the cash register ring, 
So I had to come up with a plan. And that plan was, A, I got to change my theme. No more free themes. I had to go out and buy one. And believe it or not, buy themes, people. You get what you pay for. You absolutely get what you pay for. I had to change my focus when it came to content and who I was marketing to. I had to come up with very specific buying personas and who I was trying to identify with. I had a, a real quick story. I built, and I was really, really proud of it, a calendar booking system where someone could go on my, on my website, hey, John's available Saturday the 7th at 10 o'clock. Let me go book that. And they'd go in, put in their credit card through my PayPal account, and poof, I got a lesson. Well, the phone started ringing, and people would say, well, how much, how much do you cost? Or are you available on such and such a time? And I always had this list of questions I'd ask. How'd you find me? What'd you think of my website? So forth, so on. And I started having people telling me, hey, your booking engine sucks. It crashed. And I learned a hard lesson. I don't have to have a lot on my website to be effective. And what I did is totally shut the page down. It's still on my website. It's buried somewhere in the list of pages that I have there, but I don't use it because what I found was my clientele, and I had to adapt, and WordPress adapts to it. My clientele wanted to talk to me. They didn't necessarily want to be online make, making the appointment with me. What this allowed me to do is change my scheduling. I was able to condense when I'm out on the golf course, when I'm outside, and be able to spend more time making content making sure other things within the website were working properly. And the last, I gotta go back one. I can't emphasize enough this very last one. It's hard for me to attend sometimes, especially January through June, but I'm here almost religiously the rest of the year because I've learned so much. There are so many people in here with a wealth of knowledge and they're willing to help. All you gotta do is ask. Open source, that's what WordPress is about. Make sure you go to WordCamp. I've been to four. The first one, my jaw was dragging on the floor all three days. I've got 92 pages of notes from my first WordCamp that I still reference today. So, drive for show and putt for dough is a golf acronym. It's really, really nice to watch somebody hit a really good shot. Where's my cursor? There we are. This is one of my better students. He's an amateur trying to play uh, more competitive amateur golf. He's got some things to continue to work on, but the acronym applies to SEO when it comes to WordPress. And whether you're a beginner, you're a manager, you're a designer, whatever it is, you got to put some thought into your SEO. It's a completely different talk that other people have talked about, but here are some things that I really looked at. I educated myself about it. I stayed up late at night. I came here and listened to talks about it. And it made a difference. This is the new site, or was the new site. You can see a big difference between the old one. My logoing is out there. The, count, the, the menu's smaller. I invested in some fantastic imagery. One of my best friends in the world is one of the foremost golf course photographers. And I trade out with him and his son. So I was able to get better imagery, but there is a caveat to this. As great as this looks, 83% of the people who visit my site leave on this page. I told one hell of a great story, but they weren't going through my site. Google Analytics told me that. So I had, again, I'm, I'm metamorphosizing. And this was all done in the year of 2014, literally in one year. So. I will tell you, going into 15, I had my doubts, and going into 16, it's, it was rough. I have no problem telling you I almost lost my house this year. It's been very, very difficult for two and a half years. But WordPress, Gene, David, Chris, Lisa, they've all been of huge value to me, and they've been able to give me them indirectly, but WordPress as well. These are the things I've realized over 16. I had to come up with some financials for my mortgage company June 30th. So I'm going through my company and I'm just amazing myself. And where is all this coming from? And as I start talking to people, it's like, man, your, your website's so much better. And the, the real key thing here is the middle one. 
I picked out 10 keyword search terms last August and I worked my tail off with them. And as I worked my tail off over those 10 keyword searches, I began to learn how to code. I had to put footers in the bottom that said, hey, copyright 2015 John Hughes Golf and everything. I had no clue how to do that. I learned how to do it. It's easy. It's okay to break it. You can fix it. You just revert back. If you have the right plugin in there, it saves the, saves the update, you can revert back. Wow, what a concept. It saved me late nights. But it, it did provide me that. These are real numbers from my Google Analytics, real numbers from my financials. I've saved my house. Knock on wood, we'll see what happens next month. But I can still improve. I can still improve based on the 83%. I gotta get more people through. So what do I do? I start aligning myself again. The little acronym. What that basically means is this. Keep par in play or keep simplicity in play for you. Know your inventory. Know what you're capable of doing. Know how comfortable you are with WordPress and be willing to expand that comfortability. This is the first time ever speaking to a non-golf audience for me, but I don't care. I, I speak a lot and I'll continue to speak because it's a lot of fun. Align. Make sure you're going through this assessment of yourself all the time. Do you have a short game plan that actually actuates and dovetails with your long term? And do you provide something, not only to yourself, but if you're a WordPress manager, developer, whatever it is, are you providing something to that client that can drive revenue? Because at the end of the day, if my site doesn't provide revenue, what good is it? So all these things I've come up with, with Gene's help, with a couple other people's help, and here's some things that I'm doing. More mentoring, more coffee time with Gene. I'm now paying him to do certain things. He, I owe it to him, and I'll forever be loyal and, and in his debt for helping me out. But here's some other things that I really thought I needed to get done. Linkable buttons, back to pages. Uh, better SEO from better image compression. There's, there's a laundry list of things in here that I've been working on for about the past six months. The site's still not ready. Let me take us out of here real quick. And you can see the metamorphosis of what I'm doing. Let me, it's a little slow and I apologize for that, but you can see what happened? All I did was get out of PowerPoint. Again, ask for help, they come. Where's your cape? There we go. The, it's a little slow. Everything drops down logo-wise. More sliders, again, a lot better theme. I'm now paying triple what I paid for the first one, but it's well worth it because it provides me the things, the calls for action to keep my people engaged. Get back to that. Whoop. Bear with me. I'm as I'm dangerous when it comes to this. There we go. Now in my in my 20 plus months of dealing with WordPress, I have let my tree branches grow. And I'm very much a creative person. I like to do a lot of things. And what I found was I could use WordPress in a lot of different ways. I miss the golf school business. So I'm actually creating not one, but two new golf schools. And this is one of the sites I'm using the different extensions now to devalue my competition's domain names and to br hopefully bring me up because I'm more keyword savvy with that. 
I have a lot of, I have a couple of different magazine pages full of content that not only helps me, I'm now beginning to get golf professionals to pay me to be on this. Hey, I'll pay you 50 bucks a year, 100 bucks a year. It doesn't cost a lot, but it all adds up. It's residual income that I'm able to, to reinvest back into myself and my business. I've got true landing pages. They're not, they're not very fancy. Uh, I can't afford these landing page sites. I build them myself. And then I'm, I'm incorporated through the state of Florida and it's a real simple site for my company called Florida CMM Group Ventures. It's that home page and one about page. As little information as I can put on there. But it, all those, believe it or not, are made out of the same theme except the magazine theme. In development right now are my landing pages, are the golf schools. This is really exciting me. I have through my website, through using WordPress, I'm one of 13 finalists to take over the academy at World Center Marriott, which is a huge thing. I'm really, I'm really excited about that. I hope I get it. And then I live in a community where 826 homes, 80% of them are for lease short term. There are 278,000 short term rental homes in the greater Orlando area. If I got 2% of those at four to $500 a year, that in itself is one great business. And that's what WordPress has been able to open my eyes to, that there's more out there than just what I'm doing. A lot of people are here that are users. Just like I said before, it, it, it was intimidating to a certain degree, but it was also disappointing. So one of the things I want to provide the new people here, the people that were looking for that help, is that secret sauce that got me going. Why not share it? I don't have any golf professionals in here, do I? OK, so there's no competition. The KASD, CAST, however you want to pronounce it, however you want to say it, just use something simple like that. You may come up with your own that way. Attend everything you can, educate yourself. Never fail to educate yourself. The day you do that, that is the day that you become way too comfortable with life and things are going to start going not your way. Hosting. That's now the first priority. I've been using Just Host as a shared provider. I'm now gradually migrating everything over to SiteGround. When my subscription of Just Host is done, I'll be looking for a second and a, probably a third because it helps me divide up my time. It keeps me concentrated on the task at hand versus getting all miscombobulated with too many things going on. Themes, my initial foray into purchase themes were through ThemeForce. There's thousands of them there for lots of different uses. Some of them are very customizable if you reach the right person. What happened with my first theme is it wouldn't customize. There were 400 people asking for those clickable links and the developer wouldn't put them in there, which has forced me to go another route. And thanks to Gene, I'm more of an elegant fan right now, especially the, D the Divi theme. Very, very flexible, does a lot of things. You'd be surprised at how easy it is to build. SEO, I can't emphasize that enough. It is a different context. It is a different topic of discussion. And I'm dangerous at it. I'm good for me because I know my industry. But you've got to know your industry to be able to be good at SEO. And these are some of the tools that I use. They're not all of them. I use a ton of them. I'm always looking at how I rank. I'm always looking at how I can evolve my site to stay current and in front of my clientele. And here's some of the plugins I've used, especially over the recent past WP Main and Child. It helps me maintain my growing portfolio of, of WordPress sites. It allows me to update them with a couple clicks versus going to each individual site. I get daily emails back from that plugin telling me what's going on. It's been an invaluable resource, and it's one of the free plugins that I have up there. I failed to put in which ones I pay for. I do pay for, S for Yoast SEO. I do pay for MailChimp, Gra Gravity Forms, uh, W3, Total Cash, and Comet Cash I pay for. These are the things, a small investment that makes my site better than my competition. Developers managers. I'd be remiss not to provide you some kind of understanding of what I went through and how you can help your people as well. Keep these four things in mind as you go about nurturing your clientele. 
Keep par in play. How do you do that? Be as transparent and as honest as you can. If you can't do it, it's okay to say, I can't do it. I don't, as a client, I don't want to hear someone promise me something and not be able to deliver it. That's something that I run through my business on a daily basis. And if you're doing that as a WordPress developer, that's your job. That's how you put bread on the table. You'd be surprised how much more business you get being honest with your clientele. Alignments. The real question here is not who or what, but why. I learned a long time ago the key essential question you should always ask yourself is why. Why am I doing this? Why am I aligned with this person? Why am I using this resource? If all these dovetail into a short-term objective, which in turn dovetails into your long-term objectives, you're golden. You're, you're good to go. You're probably going to be successful. And then from a strategic standpoint of view, you don't have to be an expert. But these clients are coming to you because they want to drive revenue. And if you can give them a small hint, you can be dangerous at it, but give them that small hint to have them go forward and try to realize some potential out of their website. And if you don't know how to do it, align yourself with somebody. What's next for me? I'm going to continue to grow my portfolio. I'm a creative person. I love WordPress. I'm going to continue to, to expand my knowledge of it. But my time is better served out on the golf course, teaching, seeing people. I get more return on my time that way. So at some point, Gene and I are going to have a serious conversation about handing everything off to him. It's going to be more productive for me. It's going to give me a better return on my investment at some point, And I'm very close to doing that. He knows that probably by the first of the year. But I want to leave everybody here today with a challenge. And this is something that I tell my son. He's 14 years old. And up until the age of three, I would always say, hey, make dad proud. And he'd do all his little things. Dad, are you proud of me? I'm like, sure I am. But as soon as he became self-evident of Jack, that's his name, he understood who Jack was. I turned that around. And I said, why don't you do something to make yourself proud? I'm real proud of what I've done with WordPress, and you guys should be too. And I challenge everybody in here today once a day, no matter how big, how small, do something that makes yourself proud about using WordPress. I, I go to the PGA show every January, and there's six companies there that preach that they're the best web design people that, that there are. And they prey on uneducated golfers to build websites. And it's basically a cut and paste and mold and shape, and it's all the same template. I'm proud of the fact that I can walk in and challenge what they charge, challenge how they're going to customize my website. And that's why I've stayed where I am, because no one has that flexibility. No one's more proud of what they do with WordPress than me. I challenge everybody here to do that. If you ever have questions, this will be on SlideShare. I've got to create an account. And, and I'll, I'll have it up there. David will have that link. But if you have any questions, I have a personal edit that I provide to everybody. You contact me by 5 o'clock Eastern, any day of the year, including Christmas and holidays, you're guaranteed to reply that day. That's what distinguishes me as a golf professional, distinguishes me as an entrepreneur, and hopefully one day distinguishes me as part of the WordPress community. Thanks for your time. Appreciate you listening. Any, any questions? I'm dangerous, but I'll try to answer them. No? What? When, I'm, when I used to play a lot, I was better than scratch. I don't play a whole lot anymore due to age, injury, and trying to keep this stuff going. But I can probably give you a good game. <laughs> I'm a little humble about that. When I have to turn it on, I'll turn it on. It was a combination of all the above, quite honestly. It was keywords. It was understanding that there were things in my website that were not functional. I'll give you an example. I use a thing called Optimize My Site. And it gives me a full report of what I can do better to get it to rank better. And I'd get these red flags, these little red dots that says, hey, your H there's duplicate HTML code, or there's duplicate CSS, or your images aren't compressed. So it was literally diving into WordPress 
to, and it, what's fun about that particular tool is it told me exactly what line to look for that code so I could go in and delete it, save the site, and hopefully that made a difference. And you can literally retest it with that tool at that time. So it wasn't necessarily just keywords. That was huge. And writing content and good creative content that flows, that's real critical. But there's a lot of other things that within WordPress you can do to get your ranking up. Anything else? Thanks again for your time. I hope everybody has a lot of fun. Like I said, if you ever need to contact me, let me know.